Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, yes, tamu sana. Tamu. In the last few days, Kirinyaga governor, Anwai Guru, has been sending mixed signals as to whether to remain in Jubilee Party or to decamp to William Ruto's Uda's party. That has been Anwai Guru in the last few days. So today, the whole drama took a very interesting twist. Kirinyaga women representative Wangui Ngirishi actually sarcastically welcomed Anwai Guru to order and actually welcomed Anwai Guru for nominations. I want us to have a look at Wangui Ngirishi's post and then we see clearly what it all means. Is Anwai Guru joining William Ruto and will Wangui Ngirishi be ready to face Anwai Guru in an order party ticket nomination? Hmm? That's our analysis and discussion. But before we do that, let's have a look at Wangui Ngirishi's post. Wangui Ngirishi. Ehe, kwani ni kesho? Karibu nominations. And then down there she attaches the perceived remark by Anne Waiguru. The truth is that at this point in time, if elections were held today, it would be difficult to run on a jubilee ticket. I'm considering various options. There are quite a number of parties out there. Anne Waiguru, 8th September. 2021. That's today. She has just attached that perceived remark from Ann Waiguru. And from that post, ladies and gentlemen, you can see Ngirishi, Kirinyaga Women Representative, actually welcoming Ann Waiguru for nomination. That speaks volumes. So in this video today, I want us to analyze and see in clear terms what does this whole drama mean? Why is Anwai Guru serious that she wants to dump Jubilee Party to join Oda? And will Ngirishi be able to face Anwai Guru in an Oda Party ticket nomination? That's our analysis and discussion. And in case you've just bumped on this YouTube channel for the very first time, Kindly subscribe and also give this video a like. Give it a like, please. Give it a like. Thank you. God bless you. Straight away to our analysis. What does this show or what does it mean? From the way Anwai Guru has been behaving, and now this latest incident by Wangui Ngirishi, it comes out very, very clearly that Anwai Guru has not delivered in Hakiri Nyaga constituency. So she may think that now jumping from one party to the other might save her dwindling political fortunes in Kirinyaga County. That comes out very, very clearly. Because now why I'm saying that, you know, after every five years, about 80% of the elected leaders are always sent home. And I know from where I sit that Anwai Guru might be facing or feeling the heat from the ground. Just she might be thinking that the heat is coming out because she is in Jubilee Party. The truth of the matter is whether she maybe tries to recapture her seat through Oda or Jubilee or any other party, her goose might have been already cooked in Kirinyaga County. And it might be very, very hard for her to recapture that seat. So my advice from where I sit, I would rather advise Anwai Guru to stay steadfastly in Jubilee, face next year's election. If she loses, so be it. That's the nature of politics. That's very, very clear. Secondly, if you go through the comments after Wangui Ngirishi had posted that. 
a majority or a, a good portion of the commentators or the comments were of a very strong opinion that Wangwing Rish is actually shooting herself in the foot. In fact, some were of an opinion that the best thing Wangwing Rishi can do is to make sure she retains her women representative seat next year instead of going for a very high office that she's not even sure whether she will win. And then the, some, some were also of an opinion that between Anne Waigura and even this Grish, they might all lose that seat. There might be a newcomer, a very strong aspirant who can just beat them all. So in, if that happens, Girishi shall have lost her women representative seats and she shall have also lost the gubernatorial seat she wanted. So the best thing for her is just to make sure she defends her women representative seat, which maybe I believe in one way or the other, she might just retain. Maybe. You never know. And then thirdly, ladies and gentlemen, If Kirinyaga residents decides to elect Ngirishi as their governor next year, from where I sit again, I strongly believe and feel they shall have made a very big blunder. They shall have given unto themselves an in inept governor, a governor who will not be able to deliver. Because if you look at the development record of Anwai Guru, not Anwai Guru, Girishi, I'm going Girishi. If you look at that development record, it has all been about Tanga Tanga theatrics, about drama. A gubernatorial seat or post or position needs a sober leader, someone who separates politics from real development issues. Girishi has not proved to be a leader who can bring meaningful changes to the residents of Kirinyaga. So the people of Kirinyaga, if they decide to elect Girishi, they shall have given unto themselves a governor who will not be able to deliver. And you know, Kirinyaga is a very interesting county. Just before Anwai Guru was elected governor, there were very, very strong allegations and rumors that actually Anwai Guru was corrupt. But the people went and elected a governor. Then after electing the governor, they started complaining again that Anwai Guru was actually embezzling public finance or funds or county funds. So if they elect this woman Girishi, I know from where I sit, definitely they will hate this woman within even the first one month alone. And then, fourthly, ladies and gentlemen, this Philip propping by Anwai Guru also proves and shows that maybe Anwai Guru might have fallen out with President Uhuru Migai Kenyatta somewhere. Because a majority of Kenyans strongly believe that Anwai Guru is a very close ally of President Uhuru Migai Kenyatta. But if you look at the recent political uh, undertakings and happenings, then somehow some Kenyans might doubt whether this Anwai Guru is still a close Uhuru ally. Sometimes when an impeachment motion was brought against Anwai Guru, it was believed that it was sponsored by Karanja Kibichu. It was widely believed so. So I just failed to understand how the president could allow Kibicho to sponsor an impeachment motion against his closest political ally in the name of Anwai Guru. That shows clearly that maybe things might not be as rousy or as good as maybe a majority of Kenyans still believe. These people might have just fallen out along the way. So Anwai Guru in this case is maybe trying to threaten that maybe she wants to join Uda just to attract the president's attention because deep inside me, I don't think that Anwai Guru seriously will even contemplate of dumping Jubilee and joining Uda. Uda's future on the mountain from where I sit as somebody closely following politics. 
I, I think Uda's future on the mountain is not all that guaranteed because the president, Uhuru Kenyatta, has not come out to give direction. When Uhuru will do that, then politics there will change drastically. So Anwai Guru, from where I see it, should just relax and stay calm. And then fifthly, ladies and gentlemen, this also exposes Tanga Tanga leaders as people who are just maybe wants to ride on popular wave of the perceived Uda or Tanga Tanga or the hustler. But deep inside themselves, they are not very, very strong leaders and they know that. The mere fact that Anwai Guru has shown some, some signs that she wants to join Ruto is already sending shock, shocking waves to Wangui Ngirishi. The mere fact that he's saying, hey, Kwani Kesho, Karibu nominations, that does not show that she's brave and confident. That only shows she's scared. Mm. And why Guru's perceived move to William Ruto has, has scared Wangui Ngirishi. So whether Wangui Ngirishi <laughs> will agree to face Anwai Guru in an order party ticket nomination. That's a story for another day. But this Anwai Guru's latest move seems to have scared Wangui Girish. And I think I'm seeing a situation where if Anwai Guru crosses over, you might find even Wangui Girish also crossing over back to Jubilee. That's also a possibility because we are in a game of politics. So, ladies and gentlemen, I strongly believe that those are the main reasons that really tells us or explains exactly what might be happening in this whole drama of Anwai Guru flip-flopping and then Wangui Grishi coming to welcome her for nomination. Otherwise, just as I did mention when we were starting, if you've just bumped on this YouTube channel for the very first time, Kindly subscribe and also give this video a like. If you are watching us outside of Kenya for the very first time, drop a comment and let us know from which part of the globe you are also watching us from. God bless you. God bless Kenya. Tamu sana. Tamu sana.